The fearsome and mighty Lionel. Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom stand as some of the best games of all time. And starting with a centaur stat block, let's recreate a Lionel for D&D 5e. Welcome back to the Game Masters Academy, helping you make D&D combat less lame since about six months ago. But, yeah. Before we get started, I would love it if you guys would go ahead and click on the subscribe and the like button if you have not already done so. All right, let's get into the homebrew. By the way, this full stat block is available on my free Patreon. Uh, so just go ahead and grab the link in the description, swing on through, join for free, and you can find a PDF to download this to add to your game. It's free, Nintendo. Stay off my back. I started with a standard centaur stat block and added all of the abilities that your typical Zelda fan will love. Or hate. Longbow? Yes. Flame blasts. Yes. Explosion. Yes. Ridiculously fast, tons of hit points, hits like a truck. Yes, yes, and yes. Shout out to 100% Zelda for all of the different Lionel clips here. Let's take a look at it. A quick look at the stat block here. Again, this is all on the free Patreon, so please swing on through there and grab that. But I just wanted a couple, uh, point out a couple of different little highlights here. Uh, first and foremost, we are looking at immunity to fire, and then when we use our multi-attack, we get to make one charging hoof attack as well as two longsword attacks. Or the ranged option, which would just be the flame blasts from range. I would want to maneuver into melee combat uh, as often as possible, just because we have a much better chance of hitting with our higher strength than we do with our little bit of a lower wisdom. The last thing that I want to highlight is a fleet of hoof. It's basically a bonus action dash and disengage that you can utilize to help you maneuver yourself correctly around the battlefield. I feel like this works much better as an optional encounter to start with. When your party is a low level and they see in the distance far off in the plains, a standard Lionel just standing there walking around. You provide them the necessary thoughts of, oh my gosh, we can't go that way if any of them have played the game because they know what's about to happen. Allow them to either engage or not, up to them, but eventually at some point within your campaign, a cure is necessary or an ingredient for a magical item, something along those lines. And the individual that is requesting of them has sent them off to this specific area to find either horns or hooves or some other component of a lie now. With a CR of 8, quick reminder here, basically what that means is this is designed as a uh, encounter for an 8th level party of 4 characters. With a uh, CR of 8, we always talk about creating tension in combats and providing this sense of excitement built around the tension that we create. And with this particular one, it's done with a very, very high damage output, forcing the players to have to brainstorm and figure out how they can down it fast before it overwhelms them. The way that I would run this particular combat is to utilize the high mobility and hit and run tactics of this particular monster, striking at the players and falling back out of range, maneuvering myself around the battlefield to hit the backline uh, individuals and potentially the casters. And then whenever I have the opportunity for the flame explosion, uh, it's off recharge, etc. And that's what I'm gonna then try to position myself to hit as many people as possible. The longbow attack is specifically there and designed to be used as a legendary action. It does not get multi-attack or anything along those lines, so using it on your turn is significantly handicapping uh, yourself during this encounter. If you have party members that have optimized, you will find that this is a relatively quick and simple encounter as at 19 AC and just shy of 200 hit points. 
your standard three rounds of combat is typically all that would be necessary to uh, remove the threat of the Lionel. Now, if you have less optimized characters within your party, uh, you may have to pull some punches a little bit so that way we're not just going to TPK them um, without even really trying or having a story reason to do so. As I was saying, swing on through Patreon, join for free, grab the stat block, add it into your game, and as always, let's let the dice decide.